You will have heard about the war going on in Ukraine right now. Perhaps you've watched some of the events on the news or seen pictures in a newspaper. It can be a bit worrying when we see soldiers fighting, but the best way to understand what's going on is to learn more about why this war has happened and then ask lots of questions. This war in Ukraine began a few weeks ago when Vladimir Putin, who is the president of Russia, decided to invade Ukraine. Putin said that he wanted to help the Ukrainian people and bring them closer to Russia because he believes Ukraine is a part of Russia. Ukraine is a separate country from Russia, although around 30 years ago it was part of Russia when Russia was known as the Soviet Union. Some people think Putin is trying to capture Ukraine and make it part of Russia again. Some parts of Ukraine are already under Russian influence and control. You can see them here, Donetsk, Luhansk and Crimea. Putin thinks that more of Ukraine should come under his control and he is using this war to try to do this. Many people in Ukraine do not want to become closer to Russia and have become soldiers to defend their country against the Russian invasion. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, is also fighting alongside his soldiers and the people that have volunteered to fight against the Russian troops. Some people in Ukraine want to become closer to other countries rather than Russia and are looking to the USA and countries in Europe to help them. It's unlikely these countries will send in their own soldiers to fight alongside the Ukrainian troops, but they are helping in other ways by sending medicines and by offering Ukrainian people a safe place to stay if they are trying to escape the war in Ukraine. Perhaps you've seen people boxing up supplies to send to the people of Ukraine who have been caught up in this war. Many have lost their homes and schools, shops and hospitals have been destroyed. It's understandable to find some of this information upsetting and confusing. If you feel this way, talk to an adult and share what is troubling you. You will not be the only one feeling like this. And remember that talking and asking questions is the best way to think through this issue, rather than keeping what's troubling you about the news to yourself.